Hello, football fanatics, thanks for joining us. Check out Ronaldo's new nickname, and why Mbappe refuses to take team photographs despite preparations for World Cup. Endeavor to like and subscribe to our channel and leave a remarks in our comments section. Thank you for your dedication, service, and sacrifice for our great country. Former England captain John Terry and boxing world champion Tyson Fury led the sporting tributes to Queen Elizabeth II at her funeral. Official. Valencia has agreed to extend Georgi Mamartishvili's contract until June 2027. Lionel Messi surpassed both Pele and Cristiano Ronaldo for the most non-penalty goals in football history with his goal against Lion, Messi. 672, Pele. 671 and 671 for Ronaldo. England coach Gareth Southgate's decision to include Manchester United left-back Luke Shaw in his latest squad stunned Arsenal legend Paul Merson. According to Daily Mail, Eric Ten Hag is reportedly eager to bolster his Manchester United squad in January and will hold meetings in the coming weeks to plan the club's strategy. Official. Leipzig have confirmed the appointment of Max Eberl as sporting director from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Eberl will be a new addition to the RB squad. Russian football officials are urging UEFA to ban Ukraine's manager, Alexander Petrikov, after he expressed a desire to take up arms and defend his country. Football news from the mirror. Goal comprehends Kevin De Bruyne believes Jack Grealish is being treated unfairly as an English star at Manchester City, and he is still adjusting to the demands of life away from Aston Villa. According to reports, Paul Pogba claimed in his police statement that he agreed to pay two armed men after being held at gunpoint during an alleged extortion attempt. Coming from the Daily Mail. According to El Nacional, Bayern Munich regrets passing up the chance to sign Manchester United striker Cristiano Ronaldo and plans a January move for the forward. Manchester United players and staff were affected by a bout of suspected food poisoning following their Europa League trip to Moldova, with up to 12 people affected and some stars forced to miss training over the weekend. Lekwip quotes Jules Count as saying, I spoke with Thomas Tuchel and felt compelled to come, but I simply preferred Xavi's speech. He told me that my qualities correspond to his game plan, which is to start from the back, play high, and use my speed and anticipation. Journalist Ben Jacob for CBS Sport. According to Lequa, Kylian Mbappé's feud with the French FA has continued after the Paris Saint-Germain attacker reportedly refused to take part in a photo shoot with the national team. Following the defeat to Spurs, the city manager faces an anxious wait over his future, according to The Telegraph. Based on the report, Ditch is being considered as a potential replacement manager if the club decides to change managers during the international break. La Liga will submit a formal report to the Spanish Football Federation's Disciplinary Committee and the state's Anti-Violence Commission, condemning the racist abuse directed at Real Madrid winger Vincius Genier by Atletico Madrid fans ahead of Sunday's derby. In the Irish Times. According to Northern football correspondent James Ducker, the Seas Football Observatory ranks United above Juventus and PSG as the worst culprits for overpaying for players since 2012. According to Football Italia, Atalanta and Argentina international goalkeeper Juan Musso will undergo surgery Tuesday after suffering a fractured cheekbone and head trauma. Over the weekend, Valverde received the highest sporting honor in his home country. He was the recipient of the 49th Charua de Oro, Uruguay's Athlete of the Year Award. It is now time for transfer news. According to Mirror Football, Barcelona are considering a move for 30-year-old Chelsea and Italy midfielder Jorginho, whose contract with the Blues expires next summer. Everton have begun contract talks with Nigerian midfielder Alex Awobi, whose current deal expires in 2024, according to the Liverpool Echo. According to Mundo Deportivo, FC Barcelona is interested in signing Real Madrid's Marco Asensio. Mourinho is said to be a fan of the Swiss international and wanted to sign him last year, but Zaka refused to leave the North London club, according to Fabrizio Romano. Arsenal are set to rekindle their interest in Manuel Locatelli, according to Calcio Mercado. According to The Sun, Everton have begun talks with in-demand Anthony Gordon about a new six-figure contract. Hartlepool manager Paul Hartley and assistant manager Gordon Young have both been fired. A decision was made to make a change, the club said. Now for the big news of the day. Due to a disagreement over image rights, Kylian Mbappe has refused to take part in a photo shoot with the France squad while on international duty. 
The France team is preparing for two Nations League matches and will take part in a photo shoot with 14 sponsors, including Uber Eats, on Tuesday. Mbapp, on the other hand, has stated that he will not participate in the session as part of his ongoing fight against what he considers to be unfair image rights standards for less Blias players. In March, he also protested sponsors. Manchester United teammates have given Cristiano Ronaldo a new nickname as Eric Ten Hag continues to reassemble his squad. Ronaldo shared an Instagram photo of himself in action during the win over Southampton. Several people commented on the post, including Martinez, who wrote, Elbichu, which translates to the bug in English. It appears that the two have developed a strong friendship in recent weeks, as evidenced by the new nickname. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, and don't forget to share. See you in our next video.